Hi everybody. Hi Mitch. Nice to see you all. Um, I just want to say you're a really great looking crowd and you seem real nice and uh, so uh, it seems like uh, my presence and my appearance often raise some awkward questions that you as a nice Olympia group would be too uh, polite to ask. And so I'm going to help you out a little bit with a story. So. Uh, yes, first of all, it is true, my dad was a pioneer <laughs> of the uh, burgeoning, back in the 60s, he was a pioneer of the burgeoning, uh, the, grand, the great new science of genetic engineering. And uh, you'll never guess what he worked with, it was T-Rexes. <laughs> so, uh, a few years after I hatched, <laughs> Uh, it turned out uh, I was a troublemaker, um, and uh, I was always getting into trouble. And my parents made a really brilliant move, though. They, they, they realized that there was going to be a lot of questions, and so they moved me into a small town in Idaho. And that's where I grew up all my school years until, uh, until I graduated from college. And uh, so I moved in in the first grade, and the kids in the first grade are just amazing. You know, they're just friendly, they're kids, you know, they haven't learned the hate and the anger and anything like that. And so they'd come up and they'd be like, hey, Mitch, uh, what's, uh, what's wrong with your hands? And I'd say, I don't know, I was born that way. And so they would say, oh, cool, let's go play. And so we would go play. And uh, because they were that brave, uh, it turned out I got into a really crazy crowd and I was always hurting myself. <laughs> and uh, so one day, one day bumped my head and mom has a problem because she can't get it to stop bleeding and so she calls my dad and my dad and they get together and they can't get it to stop bleeding they can't get it to stop bleeding so they rush me to the hospital and there at the hospital the doctor pulls out the white adhesive tape and he cuts out of the butterfly you know just a standard butterfly bandage and tapes it on and and I, it stops bleeding she's like i could have done that <laughs> And he said, well, yeah, just take a first aid class. And so she did, and, and uh, one thing led to another, and now she's uh, training, uh, training people at the hospital over in Eastern Washington. So uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. A little history because I was a crazy kid and always <laughs> getting hurt. So uh, part of that's gonna come back later. So, because uh, I'm, you know, it's a new story. I'm not quite sure how to put all the little pieces together, but you'll like it, you'll like it. So over the years, uh, it was good life, and uh, uh, eventually, uh, eventually though, I was in high school one one time, and uh, I needed to get home, and I missed the bus, and so I started running, and I was trying to run, and at the same time, I was trying to hitchhike, so I'd keep putting out my thumb, and everybody would just wave at me and smile. <laughs> I thought, well, it's really not what I'm looking for. <laughs> And I'd be like, hey, come back here. And then the next guy would wave and smile. <laughs> I liked the attention. That was actually pretty cool. And by the time I finally did get home, I realized I wasn't as tired as I thought I was. And so that's how I started running cross country in high school. So that was a lot of fun. And, uh, and uh, so from there, uh, those kids, again, like I said, you know, I just keep finding the most craziest people I can. So those guys were really into rock climbing. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to have to do some rock climbing with these guys now, and I got to figure out how to do this. And so, uh, you know, I, I worked around and, and you know tried to figure stuff out, but you know, really, mostly I ended up just being the anchor or the belay guy <laughs> for another one. And so, as as one of my friends was up climbing one day, he he started to slip, and and I don't know what happened, but the rope just slid right through my fingers. I couldn't hold him, <laughs> and uh, so he came tumbling down, and I got him slowed down just a little. But when he when he hit the ground, boom! I ran up to him, and because of mom, you know, this is where she comes back in. But because of mom, I knew first aid. I knew what to do, so I ran up to him. I was like, "Dude, are you okay? Are you okay? How many fingers am I holding up?" Well, he couldn't tell me. <laughs> he didn't know, so I, so I knew what the next step was. He can't tell me what's going on. I got to go help him out, and so I was like, "CPR." <laughs> Well, I forgot I'd had my climbing spikes on. I killed the poor guy. And I had to lay low for years because he was one of the popular kids. So, 
after uh, realizing that I wasn't really built for rock climbing, I decided that uh, I was going to try to major in American Sign Language at college. And <laughs> so uh, one day, one day, this is the this is the end of that story. <laughs> one day we were having um, one day we were having. Um, Conversation day is what what I called it. You know, where you just come in and I didn't really have a lesson plan, but I'd just be like, okay, let's just talk, you know, and try to use as much sign language as we can. And so I said, let's start with uh, what you do this weekend. And one guy goes, I fixed the wait, I made love with the cat, and I was like, you did what? You made love? You no, no, no. I fixed the cat. I was like, by yourself. <laughs> Like, no, 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 the car, the car, I meant the car, I fixed the car. Oh, you worked on your car. Okay, okay, class. So, now I've shown you this again and again, but this, this is working on. And this, this is making out, or making love. <laughs> I show them again, they can't tell the difference, but clearly there's little bunnies on your fists when you're making love. <laughs> so, I got fired from American Sign Language. <laughs> And uh, got stuck uh, for a while. For a while, I got stuck. I ended up having to work at Walmart as a people greeter and uh, get through college the rest, uh, you know, that way. And it worked out okay. I had a couple funny stories there. About uh, one was uh, one was this. Uh, I came out of the came out of the stall in the men's room, and just as I was coming out of the stall, a woman, a customer, walked into the bathroom and she said, "Hey." What are you doing in here? I said, um, I'm just washing my hands and leaving. <laughs> what are you doing in here? And she says, well, it's the ladies' bathroom. And I couldn't explain to her that it's not the ladies' bathroom. And I couldn't, I, you know, I, I thought, okay, well, maybe they closed the women's and they changed the sign while I was in. I, I couldn't think <laughs> what was happening. I was thinking, you know, how I could be wrong because that's my nature. So I think I was on the way to the door to check, you know, like what was going on. And I said, no, look, the urinals are right there. And she goes, oh, and opens the door and she goes, you are so grounded to someone out there. So that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so uh, after, yeah, after, uh, that was really mean, whoever did that to her. I couldn't believe that. So after that, uh, life got long and kind of boring. Uh, for So I'm going to kind of speed through that. but. You know, uh, long story short, which uh, I often say, uh, too late, I'm sure. <laughs> Here I am telling stories, trying to do comedy. I'm a huge T-Rex and uh, trying to, you know, it's tiring and just trying to move around. And, you know, I was just telling my nephews the other day, when I walk around, I look like a T-Rex. But if you see me try to get out of a big soft couch, it's more like a walrus. <laughs> so it's really tough. But... Uh, you know, uh, I, I, I'd gotten a, a state job for so long, and that's how I got so big. And uh, and then uh, just sat at the computer all the time and forgot to walk and do all those good things. And uh, so anyway, finally, uh, finally, after after quitting that job and after a long divorce, I kind of pulled myself back together and got back. And and uh, it wasn't too long until I was uh, realized I had uh, actually been seeing, uh, I'd been holding hands with a person for longer than since my divorce. And I was really excited. I was like, I'm holding hands, yay. So I told her about it and she let go all awkwardly. And I was like, oh no. But she saw me again. It was really great. And uh, again and again, and you know, she, she knows quite a few positions and she helped me out into, some really cool stuff and sometimes her friends would come and help and so yeah physical therapy is going really great <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, ditching the whole t-rex body really fast and I'll be a velociraptor in no time so but the physical therapy and the exercise isn't all I need to diet and so I was thinking about you know T-Rex diet what am I gonna do and I was like oh the paleo diet the caveman diet delicious those guys are amazingly feeling. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will be. I will be a T-Rex in no time. But I gotta be careful. I don't want to become a Homo habilis, that skinny guy that can't quite stand up in the uh, ages of man. Guy. So, anyway, uh, here I am. I'm gonna be great eventually. Thought I'd say hi again. Catch you up on my life.
Thank you.